Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I'm going to be talking about a game I have never covered on the channel before. And most of you can probably tell by now that game is enlisted. Now, I wasn't right on board with this game at launch. In fact, I just downloaded it probably two weeks ago, and I enjoy the game, but I can't help but feel like some of its systems are holding it back from reaching its full potential. So today, I'm going to talk a bit about why I think enlisted needs to make a new game mode focused on smaller scale infantry combat. So let me start by saying the game is really solid as is. The quick TTK, the respawn system, the vehicles, everything works pretty well and it gives the game a very hectic and fast paced feel. But that's where I see kind of the problem. This game clearly markets to a more arcade style audience and while it's good because it makes it accessible and easy to learn, I also feel like it lowers the intellectual skill ceiling of the game. The ticket count on one linear game mode and the player count on each map is designed specifically to make things move fast. But what would make me enjoy this a lot more, and I don't think I'm alone in this, would be to slow the pacing down significantly. Like, I would suggest making a totally separate playlist to squads that has a reduced player count, reduced HUD, and maybe even a modified stamina bar to make sprinting a somewhat costly choice in the heat of the moment. Doing this would effectively make a game that can compete with Hell Let Loose and Squad in that realism faithful and incredibly immersive tactical shooter market. A whole new player base of people looking for Milson type gameplay would flock to the title, as a free to play price tag is literally unbeatable and unmatched by the rest of the tactical shooter industry as of now. The movement feels really nice, the shooting feels really nice, but the game is plagued by the fact that you're forced to run around and play it like you would play Call of Duty. The foundation of a tactical shooter is there, but they are missing the tactical piece. And if they added this new theoretical mode, I would just have so much fun on this game. I can imagine working with a squad of some of my close friends and having to actually sneak around or engage at longer distances in order to get flanks or pick off enemy numbers. This somewhat exists right now with the existing gameplay, but really each kill feels somewhat weightless as the body count is simply massive and maneuvers often become irrelevant when you just get matched by a wall of enemies that just spawned. Snipers, SMGs, and MGs would feel a lot more powerful and a lot more purposeful in a smaller scale mode. That's not to say that there's an existing balancing issue, but I would say all the types of guns sort of blend together when you have so many enemies on screen at one time that you're just flicking from one to the next without much thought about your gun's engagement distance or its capabilities between circumstances. Guns don't feel special when you're just spraying into hordes of enemies, and I think shrinking that player count and forcing people to use real tactics instead of holding W and spraying would do a lot to help with that. Another thing that would change would be vehicles. The impact that one tank could have would be massive, and so long as the tank commanding squads reflect a proportional size handicap to infantry, it would theoretically remain balanced. I.e., I would say the map should be limited to one tank at a time with a longer cooldown as well, because half the infantry count means half the amount of anti-tank personnel and you need to account for that. One major feature I think should be added if they make this new mode is suppression. When shot at, your character currently has little to no reaction, and is completely fearless. Now, I get that suppression isn't exactly the most realistic feature in games where you get a big black vignette or blurred vision, but honestly, I think in a smaller scale mode, it would fit very well. And it would probably add more to the use and diversity of automatic guns, as you could vary the strength of suppression based on caliber, so the MG would have a stronger suppression than an SMG. Adding suppression to a company would just add so much to the already stellar atmosphere of the game, and I really hope they eventually make something like what I'm describing, even if it's not exactly the same. This game is already a leader in the industry in my book. It's managed to be an arcade style shooter that does a pretty good job of maintaining historical accuracy, which is something that is very rare in the modern industry. But I can't help but recognize that the game is capable of so much more with the basis it has laid out. And with their Modern Warfare event a few weeks ago, I can't imagine what multiple game modes would look like if you also incorporated new time periods. The game would be a cross-platform, milsim-capable game of any era, and it would revolutionize the accessibility of tactical shooters to the modern market. 
But anyways, yeah, that's why I think Enlisted should add a new reduced player count mode. Let me know if you guys agree, and also let me know if we should start making more Enlisted content on the channel. Because I do really enjoy the game, and it's nice to mix things up and not just play figure all the time. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Boba Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.